So here's a small presentation of the latest version of Motion Monkey on the iOS platform. So let's run it. The latest version is 1.5.0 and it adds two significant features that I would like to showcase for you today. Uh, in order to, sh to show you the first one, I need to play a track. So I'll just pick one and start playback. So now that the live track is playing on the on the monkey player, I'm going to lock the phone and unlock it. And as you can see, from now on, the video content is playing in the background. With the latest version of monkey, you get full playback background, background playback support. You have the volume slider here that works. You have pause, play. You can even use the Chromecast functionality if you want to broadcast the audio part of the video to another device. Let's unlock it. As you can see, the content keeps playing. If I go in the background like this, it keeps playing. If I go there, it works. If I open the command center, as you can see, I can pause it, resume it. Chromecast is there too. There we go. We can switch to another one if we want. Switch to another video. And as you can see, yeah, playback are working fine. You can see the name. You can see the, the name of the, of, you can see the title of the current track and the artist, the author. And that's the first thing I wanted to show you. For the second thing, I will need a Mac. And thankfully I have, I have one here, that's a Mac M1. And we'll run a new application that's called uh, Tvolution. Tvolution is a remote video screen and it works with any semantic player like Motion Monkey. And it basically comes like this without any kind of UI, just a video tag here. And if you remember correctly, in the monkey application, we have a camera panel here, a camera view. And in this camera view, usually we are scanning uh, video tags of video content. But you can also scan uh, video tags that do other things, like connect you to a remote surface like this. So there we are. Now, as you can see, the background changes and it says, it proves that both devices are paired. Uh, I have the option for the Tvolution application. I can switch to full screen here. And now I can pretty much mirror the video content I'm playing on the, on the phone on my Mac and have a significantly bigger screen uh, at my disposal. So now I'm playing uh, the video remotely on the M1. So the M1 is playing the video. And while I'm playing the video, I can just do other things, write uh, messages, mails, whatever I want. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I can still browse content on the device, find something else I like, and then just switch to that content. It's, it's, it essentially acts like a remote. Uh, and uh, it turns your Mac into a new kind of television, if you want. So that's the second feature I wanted to show you, and that's called Tvolution. You can display the video tag in live if somebody wants to connect to the current con content you're playing from another phone and then play it on this side. You can change the volume. It's pretty neat. And you can even go beyond the Mac ecosystem, the Apple ecosystem, for instance, here I have a PC running and I have another Tvolution that's running. So we'll scan this. And now, as you can see, it went blank here. It went noise, noise.